सो वर इज एवरी वन दिस इज कर एन हेयर वेलकम बैक टू टेक कर एन यूट्यूब चैनल मी यू आई और यू कैन से वन ओ एस मी यू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सिक्स पेज ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट टू सेवन बेटा वर्शन इज हेयर इट्स अवेलेबल फॉर सम ऑफ द डिवाइस इंक्लूडिंग रेडमी नोट एट इट्स अवेलेबल फॉर द रेडमी नोट नाइन प्रो ऑल्सो इट्स अवेलेबल फॉर पोको एक्स थ्री ऑल्सो एंड ऑल दीज डिवाइस आई हैव आई ट्राइड दैट इट्स जस्ट वर्किंग परफेक्टली फाइन फॉर द रेडमी नोट एट यूजर्स इट्स बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉड वर्शन इलेवन फॉर पोको एक्स थ्री रेडमी नोट नाइन प्रो दिस बिल्ड is based on android version 10 there are no major differences one was features and everything else is just kind of same only the difference is android version 11 so if you're redmi note 8 user you will get the android version 11 based features if you are poco x3 or redmi note 9 pro user you will get android version 10 features but not a major difference honestly The build seems to be quite good here. It has all the One OS related features, which I will just share with you in this video. So, talking about the features, first of all, if you are a Redmi Note 8 user, as I previously mentioned, you it is based on Android version 11. So, the Android 11 features are there. You can simply swipe between the notification and the control center, and this is the only feature which you get in MIUI 12.5. This swipe feature only get in Android version 11. So, this feature is also present. It's based on the latest beta version 21. 4.27. All the beta version features are also present in this build. There are no major differences. I've applied the One OS theme, by the way. This is why these icons are good and the smoothness, which matters a lot. It's just quite good. As you can see, no frame drops, nothing else. The ROM is quite quite smooth. It doesn't include any kind of plot where the animations are quite smooth, as you can see. And it's almost same with other devices also. Uh, as I previously mentioned, you it's available for Poco X and Redmi Note 9 Pro also. Smoothness is almost same. The control center seems to be quite good and even if you use in Poco X3 with 120 hertz you will definitely feel more smoothness if you compare it with the default one it's just quite good now talking about the theme yes it is one os so one ui theme is pre installed as expectedly and has only rewritten all theme nothing else in the change log but it is one ui theme and almost everything like one ui icon pack or basically one ui kind of control center and everything is just kind of same like one ui and it was the theme which was previously available in this one os also and in this new update this is available here too i have applied this theme it's just working perfectly fine as you can see in my status bar the icons are changed the battery icon is changed home screen widget is also changed the screenshot showing in this theme of control center is bit of different here but if you compare it with the default one which right now i have applied on my device has some differences there but not a big issue everything seems to be good one including that if you talk about the power menu it comes with the latest new power menu for example this one is the miui 12.5 power menu which you get here pre installed you can simply swipe between the recovery mode and the fast boot mode normal reboot power off by just tapping between this color between this circle here you simply need to double tap here to open the extended power menu everything else is the same and this power menu doesn't look bad it's actually quite looking good this is the updater which you get here pre installed as you can see currently installed one was 21.4.27 release you have the option to check for updates but i will always not recommend you to use the to update your current custom room from uh, behind from this updater app because if you are a custom room user it's always recommended to use clean flash unless it until you are fully trusted you are fully satisfied with that but all always it's recommended to clean flash your custom room as it's me my 12.61 os so this is the theme settings which you get pre installed it also comes with some wallpapers pre installed it has a super wallpaper also present and almost same for other devices also and these are the system wallpapers which you get pre installed 1 1 1 these are the wallpapers which you get here and if you like any one of these wallpapers you can apply them directly on your device this is also not a big issue super wallpapers are of course present there if you want to use super wallpapers you can use them and this is also present in poco x3 and redmi note 9 pro and as i previously mentioned we have tried it on my all those devices this is why i'm saying this but i just wanted to make a review on only one device this is why i'm showing you in redmi note 8 and if you are user of all these devices you can simply use this build on a device if you are looking to because it doesn't have any kind of plot where nothing else the switches etc are also changed if you use the one os or one ui theme on your device like i am using right now everything else is just kind of same link for this build is in the description and if you want to install it very easy to install install the zip file and you are good to go thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video goodbye
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air